June 14th is Flag Day in the United States, and I have a question for you. But first, O oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming? And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? On the shore, dimly seen from the mists of the deep, where the foe's haughty host in dread silence reposes, what is that which breathes o'er the towering steep, as it fitfully blows, half conceals, half discloses? Now it catches the gleam of the morning's first beam, in full glory reflected now shines in the stream. Tis the star-spangled banner, O oh, long made wave, o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. And where is that band who so vauntingly swore that havoc of war and the battle's confusion, a home and a country should leave us no more? Their blood has washed out their foul footsteps pollution. No refuge could save the hireling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. And the star-spangled banner in triumph doth wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Oh, thus be it ever when free men shall stand between their loved home and the war's desolation. Blessed with victory and peace, may the heaven-rescued land praise the power that hath made and preserved us a nation. Then conquer we must, when our cause it is just, and this be our motto, in God shall we trust. And the star-spangled banner in triumph shall wave, o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. So here's my question for you. Does the star-spangled banner still wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave? Certainly the flag still waves. But you must come to the inescapable conclusion that Americans are not nearly as free as they were in 1814 when Francis Scott Key wrote those words. The real question, however, is, is America still the home of the brave? And are the American people brave enough to stop the steady erosion of their liberties and reclaim their birthright? reclaim the rights enshrined in the Constitution of the United States? Are the American people brave enough to do what the founders of this country did? Or would we rather just sit back, let the government confiscate half the fruits of our labor and more in return for government health care? The illusion of security. How many of us will stand up and fight? And how many will sit back? I'd often wondered if Americans in the 21st century had the guts to stand up and say, we pledge our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor that we and our posterity may have the blessings of liberty. It's already been done. The Constitution of the United States, in theory, is the supreme law of the land. All we have to do is demand that the government honor the law. So are the American people brave enough to live up to the promise of the Constitution of the United States? and answer the question, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave?